Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2, this is episode 7. In the last episode, we made it to the motel, we found Maria at the lake, uh, we finished the apartments, we did quite a bit to be fair. Make sh I'm making sure we got these key items, grab the rusted key from the bowl of armour, and the crimson ceremony book from the cemetery at the start. So, gate key now to keep going, we're going to get another one of the items that will get us the ritual ending in a second. <laughs> Her sarcasm is so funny. This is the Baldwin Manor or Mansion, which I think is where you do the DLC. I say DLC, that extra bit for... For, uh... Did it come with the Xbox version and the remaster or something along those lines? I played it once. It's on, it's on my old Let's Play, actually. Here we go. The second item out of four. White Chrism. Hmm. Should we have a look at it? Glass bottle containing milky white anointing oil. Yeah. It seems so random, the items we get, but it was like in the original game, so it's not, not exactly new. Ooh. Is everything alright? I... Yeah, it's just... This place... It just gives me the creeps. I'm not sure why. You ever been inside? I... I'm not sure. It does feel familiar somehow. Like a bad memory. It's nothing, really. Huh. Wow. I wonder if there'll ever be DLC in order to play Born From A Wish or not. Who knows? Where we to now? Okay, it's nothing else we want to find in terms of key items, so we can just do a bit of exploring. Where's she trying to get us to? Uh, Heaven's Night down at the bottom, somehow. Yeah. I don't know if we touched upon her design, the other bit of controversy from the vocal hating minority. Um, her design, they're saying about her jaw, which is coming into memes and stuff. Look at it. It's not that thick. It's not... It's not... Arnold Schwarzenegger style, you know? It's, it's not that bad. She's still quite an attractive lady, as she is intended to be. When, you find her. when if... I love her. Oh, when... Lucky her. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Like I said, three years is a long time. It is a long time. Eat. Worth checking out the houses. I remember there being a health drink on one of them, so that's why I'm being extremely thorough, or trying to be. I swear you just heard a chainsaw. segment didn't come in and I feel like the steel pipe which has replaced the plank now in this version of the game it doesn't just give you a, a new um, option it replaces it uh, I think I feel like it's a little bit more damaging oh shit 
events. Ooh. Oh, I thought she got hurt. Maybe she did, but... Oh. Whenever the wind comes along, you know things are getting bad. It feels like... You know the, the, the wind and stuff in Pharmacy 7 Remake? I do get vibes of it trying to tell you you need to go this way in his head kind of thing. Who knows, though? Who knows? Let's follow him. Go. Where's she to? Has she gone? No, here she is. Come on, follow me. Ooh, yep. I don't know if there are many items to actually find along the way. I don't really think there are. Aha, let's push this. Yeah, I don't think there are many that many items in this part off the beaten track. Which is only a good thing as you're trying to rush through. Don't you spew when you're crawling around? That's a Saturday night out if I ever saw one. I see you, I see you. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, when I came through the game the last time round, I was trying to fight everything, and it, it just drained my resources, there's no point. I love Maria as a character. It really feels like she's plotting and scheming. Yeah, it's... she's a goodie. She's a keeper, James. I like her. Aha! Ready to kill it on the pole. Did the lights just come on? Did she turn it on? Maria? Hello? Why, hello? Another cutscene coming. It's a goodie. Give me that look. I was just kidding. What is this? Is this a special place you met? Don't be silly. Just have to go through and out the front. Then again, now that we're here, 
Can't we stay? Just for a little while. Catch our breath before we head back out there. I don't have time to take a break. Mary could be out there, waiting for me. I know. It's just... This place, this whole thing, it's like a nightmare. I just wanted to get away from it, even for a second. I'm sorry. I... No, it's... it's... fine. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I guess this place is getting to me, too. Am I crazy? You know, for thinking she could be here. Crazy is one word for it, I guess. I can think of another. What's that? Hopeful. Well, that's a nicer way of putting it. Here. What are you doing? Something to take the edge off. <laughs> no? You sure? Fine. Be that way. Here's two. I'm dying. Notice how James was looking at the booze there and it seemed like a big temptation and he had to try and stop himself a little bit. Lost and found. <laughs> um, yeah, so he was meant to be this alcoholic in the past life kind of thing. Or in his life. And they made it a bit more subtle in this version of the game. And I, I feel like this game is more about the subtlety. Which ain't a bad thing. Okay, that's where we came from. There should be a couple of like Notes and stuff we can read. I'm sure I remember it. Save point for thee. Is that you? <laughs> is that a no? <laughs> Maybe read is the wrong word. Yeah, it's just giving you the vibe of the place, innit? Let me know when you want to move on. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Come on. I know, safe point back there, but I don't really wanna. Ah, uh, I'm okay. I think this game does auto saves as well. I'm not completely sure. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It tells you at the start and it's got the squares, but I always go by the manual saves anyway. I. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> you big fluid. Okay, where we to? Where we to? I could really use a warning next time. <laughs> no, you will not get a warning. Okay, where we go in? Should we try right this way? Or oh, ooh, dead end. A door? Good to know. Okay, this doesn't seem to be much going on. Okay. It would help if you told us where we were going. Chuck. Ah. Nothing safe 
with you around, huh? <laughs> Does she not like that? I wonder if that affects the ending because that might explain why I didn't get the Maria ending last time. Anyone who knows the ending names, leave. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> it's called leave. <laughs> I just noticed what I said. Okay. I was literally telling you to go this way. <laughs> Moonlight Grove, it might be the Look, we're on the other side of that chasm. Yeah. Some detour. Hey, at least I was gonna say it was a hell of a detour. I noticed last time I went to the Bowl of Armor, she was with me. That's it. A guard. There's a bit more to it than that. Yeah, there was a bit more to the Bowl of Armor too, but I think we'll be going there later. But last time I left her outside, but maybe that is going there early versus going there later. There's a story told around these parts, kind of a local legend. It tells of a woman who was cast out, sentenced to die on an island out on the lake. There was a man in town who fell madly in love with her. <laughs> and every night, he would sneak out, row across the lake, Bringing her food and company. <laughs> and every night, she would stand there on the shore, holding a lit candle to help him find his way. But this one night, a terrible storm broke out, caught him out in the open, and it blew out the candle. Even in darkness, the man would not give up. He would not turn back. So he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. They say even then, the woman never lost hope. She kept coming out at night, kept lighting the candle to bring her beloved home, to lead him to shore. Not sure how much truth there is to it. It's probably just a fairy tale. But she's become something of a local saint. A patron of undying love. Hence this place. She's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. <sighs> this was a mistake. I shouldn't have come here. Hey. It's okay. <laughs> There's plenty of other places to look. We can still... I feel like you find a document that sort of tells you that story that she just told us as well about the the maiden the the, um, the woman who was had a few issues. Let's have a look. The Via Theatre. 
This is what I was thinking of, going to bowl arm later. Maybe you'd never have to go to the bowl arm, do you? Might not bloody know. This is the part I was thinking of where you leave it out instead. Ah, uh, it's the theatre. Was it... Was there a bowl of armour in the original game? You okay? Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. Yeah. Always careful. Ooh, popcorn. <laughs> That's why she screamed. She's so nice. Oh, it's not the nicest thing you could say. Yeah, they viewed us. It's only a little place as well. I'd like if a new Silent Hill come out for, you know, a cinema to be the place. We've had a theatre, so I guess I guess that's similar. Okay, a couple of bullets. It's funny, when you're playing a game the first time, you're exploring and you find everything so amazing. Every little room, every little find. And then when you're playing through a second time, it's not quite the same impact. For any game. But, uh, I've said that, I still enjoy myself. I'm enjoying being able to go through the game so much easier and without as much fear. Look at some of these. Return to Owl Creek Bridge, non-existence. They're so similar to films. I was here. <laughs> yeah. So similar to real films. I love the cutscene that's come in. Eddie is made to be disgusting and I love it. Make it out yet? Mm, yeah. I just didn't get around to it yet. Well, at least you got your appetite back. Are you alone here, Eddie? Probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Never mind. See what I mean? They make him really disgusting in the sense of he's all sweaty. He's, he's obviously feeling the the drains of Who is that girl anyway? of the place. Um, the part when he's licking name. the popcorn off his fingers and it makes the noises is is really disgusting. I love it. On the other hand, this Laura, who is the innocent little girl who's mischievous as shit, but um, yeah, she can be quick. We've realised that. Yeah, so this Laura as well. There's a song, Theme of Laura, in this game. And that's uh, it's a really nice track. So we, we'll just turn that on. Laura? Let's try and get up there. 
go this way. Can't see an item down there. Oh god, <laughs> the sheet scared me. I thought it was a mannequin. <laughs> uh huh, nobody in here. Like Eddie said, she can be quick, so it might still be Laura. Nothing here. Is Eddie still there? Let's see if we can. Can't see him, but that's the room next door. Is there the screen next door? Hey! Found you. Nothing much to do in this place. I I like the aesthetic of it. It doesn't seem like there's too much going on. Just a really good cutscene with Eddie. And you need that to see him sort of building his character. And back down this side. I wonder what Maria's up to. And Eddie, the way Eddie says, now you want me with you, kind of thing. Yeah, it's, uh... It shows that he he was asking us to go with him before, but we said no, because we were looking for our wife and all that sort of stuff. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! It's dangerous to go alone. Yeah. Can't go in there? Okay. Maria? Did you see the little girl? Yeah, I tried to stop her, but she went that way. We can still catch her. So, to the hospital. Whew. Yes, okay. Let us get a move on. I want to go to the cinema. I love the cinema. My ideal day is a film and food. So, restaurant and cinema. That's my perfect day out. How much ammo have we got now? Jesus Christ. You really do get better after the first time through, don't you? I'm not saying I'm perfect, don't get me wrong. I have some shit encounters where I still get hit when I sh probably shouldn't. But you know what I mean. To be honest, the plan was to get to the hospital this episode, so I'm uh, I'm pretty happy that we've managed it. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going in. We're going in. I think there might be an Thanks. item out here before we go in. I. She likes going in the buildings, don't she? Where it's nice and dangerous. She really does feel like the Cheryl of this game. You're chasing her around and all that sort of stuff. We've got plenty of healing items going in. We've got plenty of ammo. I'm quite happy with our way setting up. Ooh, what's that? Briefcase? Yeah, I think it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's head on into dungeon number two. Look at the lighting in this place. The oranges are stunning, absolutely stunning. And the way the dungeon transforms as you go along. Does it matter? Gun cabinet? Shotgun safety rules. So somewhere in here is a shotgun. Yeah. And more proof of that, shotgun shells. Yeah, you won't find as many of them as uh, as, as hand and bullets. Because it's stronger. Help, you'll find a lot of medicine cabinets here, so this must have been what I was thinking of when I said in the apartment there's a lot of them. Yeah, but we'll get in now, we'll get to the oranges. Look at the lighting, how stunning is that? Again, we're going through sort of my editing and, you know, you know my recording and not being the high, as high a quality for you to watch as, as for me playing, which is a bit of an annoyance, but... Hospital 1920? So we got the map anyway. That's amazing. I don't know. First thing I want to do. Ooh, 
we can have a look at different things around here. It's worth remembering this stuff actually in the garden. Okay, oh, look at that. It's so nice because it's a horror game, but it's giving you some moments of brightness and just niceness in general. Due to repeated instances of keys getting misplaced from the point forward, they are to be returned to the locker at the end of every shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination of the and uh, not to disclose it to anyone but authorised personnel under any circumstances. In any case of any problems, report to the head nurse in examination room 3. Yeah. What's she up to? <laughs> so we got her for a dungeon now. Not all a dungeon, she's... She pops in. Pops in and out. <laughs> the director requested the files of the three crucial patients. You know which ones? Could you please bring them to this office? To his office. I'm gonna look round. We got some anatomy shit, as you'd expect. Nothing in there. You find that a lot, considering it's a place of healing. Nice. Okay, so we got. What's here? We got a padlock. A yeah, we'll need that key. We should look around. Might be written down somewhere. Exactly. Not in this room though. So we'll keep exploring and we have a huge, huge place. We'll be here for a couple of hours, just like with the apartments. The dungeons get harder as we go along, as you'd expect from good game design. You you've had your practice, you know. So let's save up. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit for possibly the most iconic dungeon or area in Silent Hill. Brookhaven Hospital. Save again. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.